Wow, where is everybody? Where's the energy in the room, guys? Oh my gosh, I'm over here talking to myself. What is going on? How are you? What is going on? Give me a number one to 10 of your level of energy in the room. Because if I'm topping you, what am I doing here? Come on, guys. Number between one and 10. What's your energy level? Let me see. I can see some numbers coming through. Come on, guys. All right. I need some more excitement here. Come on. Come on, guys. All right. I see ones. I see tens. I see thousands. <laughs> Amazing, guys. I see more flames. I love the flames. Keep them coming. Come on. Come on. 10, 10, 10. Everybody's a 10. Eight. Jennifer's an eight. All right, we've got to get Jennifer up to a 10, everybody else. Okay, I hope you're with me on that. Come on, guys. Like, last too short. We've got to have fun while we're doing what we're doing, don't we? Please, guys, let's have fun. Okay, so amazing. Now we got the flames and the emojis and everything out of the way. Let's get this party started. Oh, my gosh. I developed this training with you guys in mind, with everybody in mind, with people that were just starting out in mind, because I had some challenges along my way in my journey in this industry. And I just thought, you know what, I want to help people and I want them to not experience the same challenges as I have done. So I'm going to help you guys tonight. I hope that sounds good. If that sounds good, give me a thumbs up in the chat. Give me a thumbs up. Does it sound good? Come on, guys. Interaction makes the world go round. You know, communication. There we go. I've got a heart from Rebecca. Rebecca, hi. Rebecca's in the room. Lady leader, absolutely extraordinary, guys. If you don't know her, you better get to know her. Everybody else, I'm loving the emojis coming through. Thank you for the energy. I really appreciate it. Because, you know, what's, what's life about if you don't have energy while you're doing something or while we're not enjoying it? So, guys, let's get this party started. I hope you've got your notepads and pens ready to go. I have mine. hope you've got yours because this is a practical session. So you're going to be making notes, hopefully with the tips and tricks that I dropped for you along the way. But also you're going to be making a tangible contact list. You're actually going to be writing a contact list in this very session. So you get to walk away after one hour with 100 names, hopefully on your list or at least close to that. Even if it's less than that, doesn't matter. But you'll be well ready to go and ready to reach out to those names on your contact list. I'm going to help you. Um, to do that as well so that you can start building massive momentum in your in your empire i hope that sounds good to you guys getting some momentum there getting building big because that's what i'm in this for i'm not in here to do this by halves guys i used this the other day i said this to somebody um no i'm not gonna um, allow you graham because i am actually recording myself so this will be put out don't worry i'll put it out there in the groups so you'll get the recording of it don't worry um everybody else yet yeah, i'm gonna share the recording so don't worry i am recording today and um, for those of you who maybe feel like you missed something or want to recap absolutely you can go over it also share it with your teams so that they can benefit as well absolutely 100 percent so guys, I'm declaring that by the end of this session, you will have at least 100 names, at least on your contact list, maybe more, you might double it, you might have 200 on your contact list. But at least, even if you have 50, only get a, a halfway there, quarter that way there, 25, that's still more than you came in the room with, right? So I'm proud of you, no matter what you come up with by the end of the session, absolutely phenomenal. It'll be extra people that you can reach out to. So guys, let's just make it happen. You know, at the end of the day, I can guide you, I can share my expertise, but unless you take it on board, absorb it, make your notes and then go away and take action, it's not gonna happen, is it? So let's get this party started. Let's get this ready to go, here we go. So I love a couple of quotes what's a good training without quotes is no good in my opinion <laughs> you've got to have a couple of good quotes to get you going get you jump started get you ready to go so from a couple of people that I really look up to some of my heroes my legends and um, that I've come across in this industry and outside of this industry that I absolutely adore one of them is Maya Angelou no she says when you learn teach when you get give how simple is that but how effective is it that if you can help people from your journey your experience and your challenges along the way so that they don't have to face or go through the same challenges how wonderful is that I think it's so beautiful and that's why I came up with this training and that's why I do what I do because I want to help as many people out there to have a smooth enough journey and effective one even if they're having some challenges along the way or if I've had the challenges for them and can get them beyond that point absolutely wonderful so that's my Maya Angelou quote, I <laughs> love it. And next one is Warren Buffett. If you don't know Mr. Warren Buffett, what are you doing? You need to get to know him. I, I tap into his recordings, I listen to his videos, I listen to his audio books, I read his books, you know, I, I tap into as many legends in the industry, absolute entrepreneurs as I can, because at the end of the day, we never stop learning and there's always something extra to learn that, we, that can help us along the way in our journey on this, in this industry, on this platform. So, 
He says, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you'll have to work until you die. That's horrible, isn't it? Doesn't that sound bad? It's bad. It upsets me to listen to that, to read that and to hear it over and over again. But I remind myself of it every day because the reality is it's a tough financial climate out there, isn't it? But not just for us, but everybody out there, especially people with jobs at the end of the day. And so, you know, if you have a job in the room, I'm not knocking it every, you know, been there, done that, got the t-shirt to wear at the end of the day. But at the end of the day, the job industry or the job if you have a job, you, you've got a ceiling, there's a cap at how much you can earn. And not only that, you know, sometimes a lot of people, they want change, you want an excitement in your life, you know, you want extra to play with so that you can absolutely have those hobbies, have those passions that you dream of and achieve those goals that we all have in life. So again, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep passively, you will have to work until you die. Absolutely horrible to think about that. But I know that I don't want to live that life and work up until I die. And I'm sure you guys in the room don't want that either. So let's not do that. Let's earn that passive income, that residual income, and absolutely set our lives up in a way that means we have freedom, we have choices. Absolutely beautiful. So guys, last quote, I promise you. <laughs> last and final quote. I a um, gentleman called John Paul Getty, who was declared in his time one of the richest people on the face of the planet. So he obviously knows something about building business and building, you know, those goals and dreams that he had. He says, I'd rather have 1% of the efforts of 100 men than 100% of my own efforts. Why did he say that? He obviously knows something, you know, that a lot of people don't, but also... At the end of the day, why be a one man or a one woman show and make it take you longer to get to your goals and achieve your dreams when you can do it with a group of people like minded, have the same vision, have the same goals and you can do it collectively together as a team together. Everyone achieves more. Right. So why do it all by yourself when you can do it with a group of people, get there faster, get them more effectively and make more money along the way while you're doing so. Right. So I love that sentiment. I've adopted this quote. Absolutely. And I remind myself of it every day when I'm I'm building my business with my team members so you should do the same so guys before we get into the nitty gritty right into the core of this training I want you to clear your brains of certain things that might hinder you in having as much progress as you could have in this session okay that's fair enough so first thing I want you to get rid of is negativity because negative people have negative bank accounts so why would you want that don't be negative anymore don't think ne negatively if you've had a bad day just brush it off you know brush it off and leave it leave it back where it belongs and let's move forward and let's make as much progress as possible. Negativity, send it out the window, knock it out the door, whatever you want to do, get rid of it. And doubt, negativity's cousin, get rid of doubt as well. Come on guys, if you doubt that you're gonna come up with those hundred names in this session, your brain is gonna to try to prove you right every single time, whether you are right, whether you're right or you're wrong, you're right every time, right? Like if you're negative or positive, you're right every time, okay? You doubt or you believe, you're right every time. So which one would you rather have as um, you know, manifest in your life at the end of the day. I know that I would rather have positivity. I know I'd rather have money in my bank account. And I know I'd rather be positive in my own approach to my own life, but also the people around me so that they can, you can rub off on them as well, have a positive outcome and a positive influence on the people around you. So third thing I want you to get rid of, there's four, so there's one more. Third thing is prejudgment. We've all fall subject to this, haven't we, at certain points in our in our career, in our in our journey in this industry. I'm no different. I've been there, done that. You know, I've I I've prejudged people. I've talk myself out of approaching certain people because I think they're going to say no and you know scared myself out of talking to certain people but don't do that anymore why because it limits us doesn't it so guys if you're anything like me and my journey and you know a few people in your in your life in your circle of friends family colleagues whatever have you and you know that if you approach them with the opportunity that you have they will probably say no outright or they'd say I'm good thank you or they'd make a whole bunch of excuses as to why they it's not their cup of tea if you know anybody like that put a one in the chat box because I want to see who I'm talking to I don't want to be the only person in the room that knows skeptical negative people so let me see who am I talking to today anybody out there aha uh -huh. Rebecca one 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 she, she put three ones not even just one one <laughs> so guys I'm seeing all these ones coming through I know that I'm not talking to myself here because I can see you um you know responding to me and saying yep yeah, one I know people that are negative skeptical wouldn't touch what I'm doing with a barge pole. I get it. I can see it all. 
amazing. So I'm not the only one that makes me feel good. Sorry. <laughs> it, if it makes me feel good to not be the only one suffering in the room. But it's true, isn't it? We all know people like that. However, Eileen, I see she put about 10 ones in there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we put double double zero one. What does that mean? <laughs> You're not quite sure. Okay, right. Well, guys, what did I just ask you not to do? What did I just say? Do not do this. Clear your brains of prejudgment. What did we all do? We all said, yes, we know someone who's skeptical who would not touch what we're doing with the barge pole. So what we've done is we've prejudged them, haven't we? We've made up their minds for them. No, they wouldn't be interested. We've talked ourselves out of asking them. Or maybe we've asked them before and they've said no in the past. However, <laughs> no fear judgment, no other two. Okay. So, however, um, what I urge you to do going forward is not operate that way because, we, like I said, we're limiting ourselves. If we don't approach a certain person because we think they're going to say no, when actually, if we just gave them the opportunity and asked them, you just never know. You might surprise yourself, they might surprise you. So, by not approaching that person that you think is skeptical, you're at getting an instant no, you're not even giving yourself an opportunity to get a yes. You see what I'm saying here? So we're limiting ourselves, we're limiting our growth and our momentum just by doing that, don't do it anymore. Last thing, last thing, but not by no means the least, because this is probably the biggest thing that we all do. We fear approaching certain people, false evidence appearing real is the acronym, yeah? So we talk ourselves out of talking to people, certain people that we're scared of the outcome, because we think they might say no. However, what's no gonna do to us guys? Is it gonna stop us from achieving our goals? Is it gonna stop us from pushing forward towards financial freedom for ourselves and our families? Generational freedom, you know, absolutely beautiful thing. To think of raising wealth within your family that can last for generations and can pass on to your children, their children, your, your great, great grandchildren, all of the above, you know, it's a beautiful thing. So, most people want it, but they're too scared to go out and achieve it, let's face it. So let's not have that fear anymore. Don't let people stop you from pushing forward towards your goals and your dreams in life. Absolutely, you can achieve them if you just believe in yourself. So first and foremost, believe in yourself, you know, and um, I always think in the back of my mind, is this person actually paying my bills? Are they helping me to get towards that financial goal that I have for myself, helping me build generational wealth? Usually 99.99999% of the time, the answer is no. So you should think the same. Don't let anybody make you scared for pushing forward because at the end of the day, we, we've got to do it for ourselves, haven't we? No one's going to do it like we will. So guys, your market splits into two different categories. Really simple. Your warm market versus your cold market. Make it sound like a battle or something like warm market versus cold market. It's not like that. But basically, these are the two different markets you've got to think of and approach for your business to build your momentum and build your industry, build your business within your industry. So we'll market simply people that you know well, they know you well, you have the numbers in your phone, you can literally pick up the phone and call them right now if you needed to. So people like your close friends, your family, colleagues, peers, and um, local takeaway shop maybe, if you're like me, you've got them on speed dial. I've got like Domino's pizza sitting in my kitchen. <laughs> terrible don't tell anyone I said that please um, and your cold market is simply everybody else it's the people that you haven't met before you haven't made an acquaintance yet you haven't befriended in a way all the networking is is making friends simple people complicate it all the time it really isn't that complicated it's so simple it's unbelievable so everybody else maybe it's that person that you've um, met behind the checkout counter because you've gone into one store that you've never been in before maybe it's somebody that you're standing next to on the bus stop and you know you want to make a conversation because they're really friendly and really outgoing they're talking to you and you're like this person would be absolutely amazing networker those people that you haven't got their contact details yet those are your cold market but I urge you don't think of them as your cold market anymore because all it takes for you to warm them into a warm market contact is just to do this what am I doing <laughs> from ear to ear right now? Someone pop in the chat what I am doing. What am I doing? Like ridiculously too strong right now. <laughs> it's a bit scary. What am I doing right now? Come on, guys. Interaction, communication, smiling. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, Gray. Thank you, Ulrika. Thank you, Melody. Oh my gosh, yes, I'm smiling. It takes like no effort to do that, literally. 
So imagine you meet someone you've never met before. They seem friendly. What are you waiting for? Just smile at them. Just smile back. You've made a friend. Then you can break the ice with more conversation. But that's initially all it takes to make a cold contact, a cold market into a warm market. That is all it is. So do it more. Go around smiling like a Cheshire cat, just like I was. Absolutely. Guys, all right, let's get into the training. Frog's legs. What is frog's legs? Why did I call this training frog's legs? I'm not crazy, I promise you. I'm a big kid, but I'm not crazy. <laughs> we got to enjoy life, as I keep saying. So this stands for something. So frog stands for relatives, um, sorry, friends, relatives, occupation, geography, and social media. And legs stands for local education groups and the same. It's just an acronym of the, all the above. And all of the above are particular categories that we're going to go through one by one. And the goal this evening, ladies and gentlemen, is to come up with at least 11 names in every category. Because if we do that, who's good at maths in the room? We're all money people here, so we must all be good at maths, right? No, not necessarily. But um, the goal of the matter is to come up with 11 names every category. We've got nine, so 99 names. That leaves you one more to put down on your list to make your 100, which is the goal for this session. Or not even the goal, there's no limit. Exceed that, smash it, knock it out of the park as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely, if you can write more, write more. So here we go, guys. So friends, I'm gonna go through every uh, category. <laughs> I'm gonna go through every category, the criteria of it, so you know what to do and who whose names to write down, who qualifies as a friend. Okay, list every friend that you know or have had in the past, neighbors and old friends, get them all down on the list. It doesn't matter whether you've lost touch with them. The fun part is actually rekindling that relationship, reaching out again, having that new conversation. What have you been up to recently? What's what are you excited about? What are you what are you doing for a living? You know, are you working? What are you doing? All of these questions are relevant for a break in the ice with a new conversation that with somebody that you've lost touch with. And you'll have such an adventure finding them, and it will bring up loads more prospects in the process because you'll think, okay. I've just I've just rekindled my relationship with last Eric and and you know we knew Frank back in the day so you can put Frank's name down too you know so you you re really remembered your friends and or everybody in between and the person that people that you mutually knew okay so here we go friends one minute I forgot to tell you that bit you've got one minute to come up with these 11 names it's not that much time no it isn't but it's fun give yourself a little challenge so here we go all the friends you can remember Write them all down on your list. <laughs> just saw your comment last. <laughs> okay, amazing, guys. So just keep it going. And at the end of the one minute, let's make it fun and interactive. Give me that feedback of how many names you will be able to come up with in this one minute. I'm, I, just, I dare you. Who's bold enough to do that? Not so that I'm going to judge you on, on the number that you come up with or not that we're in competition with each other. Just for a bit of fun. And guys, I love your feedback. So the feedback on the on the categories that are most effective, I would love that. So thank you. It helps me develop my training in a better way, which is fantastic. Ten, I appreciate you. Nine, eight, seven, six, so you still got five, five seconds, enough to write ten, down two more names. Go for it. Go, go, go. Challenge yourself. One, <laughs> Amazing. Okay, how did we do? Who's bold enough to put their number in the chat? First one. Who? <laughs> I'm going to have to start giving like prizes out to the people who are the boldest in this in this session, honestly. So who's going to go first? Judy with 14, smashed it, knocked it out of the park. Absolutely bulldozed through that 11. That was the goal. Graham's got six. Amazing. Ulrika's got 11. Terry with eight. Guys, these numbers are incredible. Ulrika's right on the money. I love that. OK, Sophie, 14, ex exceeded the, the goal as well. Eileen as well. 14. Guys, you're doing amazing. These numbers are incredible. And even if you get less than the 11, even if it's one or two, I'm still proud of you because at the end of the day, there's one or two more that you've got added to your list that you didn't have before at the end of the day. So guys, these numbers are fantastic. Where did I stop? Marcy has got 11 right on the money again. <laughs> Antoinette on 14. Ursula, hi Ursula, with 13. Melody with 12, okay, but under pressure. <laughs> I know, that's the fun bit. Just give yourself that healthy challenge. See what you can come up with and think of in this one minute. It's not easy, I know, and it gets a bit scary, like uh, panicking last week, like towards the last seconds. But you guys are doing absolutely incredible. I love that. Okay, what's next? We got relatives. Oh, good, the bad, and the ugly relatives, right? <laughs> okay, so family. At the end of the day, family are at the forefront of our minds, aren't they? So for this category, every relative, young and old, it doesn't matter, put them on the list. 
you know, older relatives are a great source of family information and can give you loads of names that you didn't even know existed. I've got like cousins for days in Jamaica that some of them have not even met in person yet. So there's so many people that I've got to reach out to. If you've got, if you're anything like me, you've got a big family, this is a, a walk in the park for you, absolutely easy. So guess what? Also the older relatives also sometimes want to join themselves with an opportunity because how many of your older relatives would love to supplement their pension nowadays? You know, you know, they work for 40 hours a week, 40 years of their life, and they get to a point where they want to enjoy life and, you know, have fun, do what they're passionate about, maybe travel, see the world, whatever have you. It takes money, doesn't it, to do that? And if you're only getting 40% of a full-time income when you retire, that's shocking. I think to myself, these people work so hard, they deserve a lot better than that. And, you know, a lot of industries, like the, the industries that I call not so well paid overworked and underpaid industries is a real shame you know like nhs for you know the health industry teachers they all get paid not very well for the stress that they go through and you know there's many more in between and i'm sure you're kind of calling and loads of them out to me right now saying ah i work for whatever but um yeah not knocking anything but relatives family good the bad and the ugly relatives all of them <laughs> it's not easy with relatives i know they're the most skeptical some of them However, let me start the countdown so you can start writing while I'm talking. <laughs> However, the reason that they're like that is for a good reason. Let's face it. They've seen the good. They've seen the good, the bad and the ugly about us. They've seen our failures as well as our successes. So sometimes it's not always easy to see us in that credible business minded um, arena. Let's face it. Something like that. So they have a point if you think about it. They've seen you when you're broke, <laughs> when you're broken, ugly, and disgusted. They've seen all of that, right? And they see you grinding as well. So let them keep seeing you grind because that's the thing that's going to turn their, their vision of you around. Because what I, what I did is I invited all my family out to a, a meal with my mentors and my business partners to see what I was building and the type of people I was building with. And also, you know, they see my commitment, my consistency, my passion, my excitement for what I'm Ten. doing. And that, that really Nine. turned them around um, and got them Seven. interested more. Six. Five, four, three, two. I'm just going to send it one, to my broadcast. Zero. On WhatsApp. Is that absolutely Lavinia? You can do that. Why not? Go for it. Even if they come in late, there's something that they can pick up on. So absolutely invite them along. No problem. Okay, how do we do for this category, guys? The family, <laughs> the relatives. What how do we do? Let me know in the chat box. Okay, got some numbers coming through. Seven for Graham. Number. Thank you. Come on, Graham. Okay, nine for Razban. Razban. Nine for Razan. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, 24 for Ulrika. Come on, you can come back. I like that. 24 is amazing. Well done, you. 16 for Judy. 10, Winston. 9, Peter. Uh, sorry, 9, Tasha. Hi, Tasha. <laughs> 19 for Peter. Guys, amazing numbers. And you know what? This is just a, a little short segment that I'm giving you. If you went down and sat for half an hour and kept this going, how many numbers would you come up with? Absolutely incredible. Most if you had double digits, I'm really proud of you right now. Need to get a bigger family. <laughs> Don't give you a hard time. No problem, bro. I would, no, no, no hard feelings. Absolutely no hard time at all. You know, not everybody has like a, a massive family like I do. I could probably get a hundred names from my family category alone, but not everybody's like that. So well done to you guys for coming up with those amazing figures. Okay, next up. G minus. Oh, not that one. We've got occupation. Uh, the O in the front. <laughs> so this is your workplace. Who in your workplace seems miserable? I put a big ha ha here, but I've been there, done that, got the t-shirts away, you know, not making fun of anyone in a job, you know, at the end of the day, we've all, we've all gone through that at some point in our lives. And if you're still in the workplace, this category is going to be a breeze for you. If you've had the privilege and the blessing, let's call it, of being able to walk into your boss's office, put your feet up on the desk and say, you're fine. I don't need to work for you anymore. Absolutely. First and foremost, congratulations. But also think about your previous lines of work your previous job places so nobody is exempt from this category you've all got to rack your brains and think of people that you've worked with now or previously absolutely no no excuses guys okay so write all of your colleagues names down even your boss at the end of the day your boss is the most under pressure and although we might feel a way about approaching them about other business ventures and opportunities they might be the one that really needs it so the great thing about work is everyone complains don't they about what they want to change in their lives sometimes you're going to work like I don't want to hear any more complaints from you lot but you know it's actually good because you know what their reasons why would be for taking up an opportunity like the one you have to offer 
the reason why, you know, their, their biggest reason for doing anything or making a decision on that. And so, you know, just a few examples, think, think about the one who wants more holiday, that loves to travel, but can never afford to travel on the salary they're on. What about the one who's always off sick or calling in sick because they don't like work? And what about the one who never sleeps because their kids keep them up all night? You know, they could do, do with something, an opportunity that they a bit more chilled vibe where they don't have to get up early in the morning. They can work from home. Absolutely beautiful. What about the one who's about to go on maternity leave? Even more important to have a job or something they can do from home while they bring up the baby. What about the one that just got fired or made redundant? You know, people going into lockdown years ago now you know, thought that they were set for life, thought that they had the dream job, they could put money on, the, on, put food on the table for the family, pay all the bills, no, no worries at all. And then coming out of lockdown, they were made redundant, didn't have a job to go back to. So circumstances always change. I want you to think of that in the back of your mind. And what about the one who's the last to leave the office or wh wherever the work establishment is and the most unappreciated? Think about that person, introducing them to what you're doing, where there's more freedom, there's more joy, there's more choices. And they can actually be elevated in the arena that you're in, you know, elevated, motivated, um, encouraged, you know, made to feel like they're doing something that means something. Absolutely incredible when you put people like that in an environment where they're appreciated, they will flourish and they will just grow and be so grateful to you. It's not just about filling our pockets with money, is it? It's about impacting lives. So let's do that more and more. Here we go, guys. One minute, One minute for the occupation or the workplace. Let's see how we go. And like I said, no excuses, guys. Think about your previous. In fact, even if you're in a, even if you're in a job right now, think about your previous places of work as well. The more the merrier, right? The bigger your contact list, the more people you have to reach out to. T minus forty. Here we go, guys. Almost thirty seconds in, halfway through. How many of you got five, six names on the list? I hope so. I hope. I hope so. <laughs> okay. T minus thirty seconds. Guys, I hope you're enjoying the training so far. I try to make it interactive and fun and not so boring and easy to do. I hope, I hope that's coming across right now. I really do. Right. How are we going? 10 seconds left, guys. Write more names. There's so many more names you can come up with 10 seconds. You can write at least four or five more. Come on. Jennifer's already in there. <laughs> Jennifer's in there already. She's like, I ain't wasted time. I, I've got my number already. See ya. <laughs> I love it. Okay, Jennifer's got in there with 15 double digits. We love. Graham's got a fire emoji in there as well with his 16. I love it. Double digits. Come on, guys. Keep them coming. Keep the numbers coming in. Tasha with 12. Come on, my girl. Love it. Erica with 14. Winston with 20. It's going so fast now. I can't, get, can't, keep, can't keep up. There's people still coming in. <laughs> okay, seven, uh, Judy, 21. Oh, Miss Samantha, 17. Miss Samantha Lockwood, how are you today? It's nice to see you here in the room. Ursula, 18. Sophie with 18. Fabulous. <laughs> Thank you, Samantha. I love that feedback. I'm loving to hear that. Love it. Raz Van with seven, number of perfection. I love it, guys. These numbers are tremendous. They're amazing. You guys are doing really well. You're on fire. I love it. Okay, so what's next? Geography. Okay, so guys, geography has got to be one of my favorite categories because when I set off on my entrepreneurial journey 10 years ago, yeah, 10, I said it, um, not as young as I look. Um, <laughs> when I set off on my entrepreneurial journey all that time ago, I didn't even endeavor to build a global empire or build a team that would like, you know, go beyond borders, but it's ended up that way. And simply because all the little kind of bits and bobs that I learned along the way, you know, the skills that I picked up where I could work with people locally. They introduced me to their family or friends that were abroad. I reached out to them, started to present. I always learn to present the opportunity first and foremost. It's the first thing I do with any opportunity and, you know, let that sink in, let that rub off on you as well. Because honestly, when you can present for yourself, you hold the keys to your business because you don't have to wait for any other event, any other person to be on at a certain time to invite people to. You can do, you can literally drop things and just give them a presentation right then and there. Absolutely incredible. No waiting for any mentor that you might have in the industry. So absolutely, you know, take that on board. Now, geography, who do you know in another suburb town, different part of the country, Europe or even the rest of the world? Let's think outside the box here. How many relatives do you have overseas or peers or colleagues that have migrated over the years? 
think outside the box, Australia, New Zealand, America, Canada, South Africa, not forgetting any Asia, India, you know, Caribbean, anywhere in the world that you can think of that you can operate your business from is all relevant. So do you know any expats? Because expats spread the word. They come into contact with other expats in their different pockets of communities around wherever they live and they will spread the word for you. So when you've got other people talking about what you're doing with great passion on your behalf, you've taken your networking to another level, like completely. Think about that when it's not you having to do all the effort and speak to people and feel like you're convincing them all the time, but other people are talking about you, what you're doing, how wonderful it is. Absolutely incredible. And think about people, you know, in different countries, even if you feel like my business is a digital business and I, you know, I know people in, you know, Africa or India, you know, where the internet isn't so good. Doesn't matter. Still ask them the question, who do you know that, you know, would like to become financially free? Who, would, who do you know that would like to start their own business? Who do you know that would like to be their own boss, would like to be an entrepreneur? Ask these relevant questions because guaranteed they will know someone in a different part of the globe where it's not so remote and the internet is better, right? So they can recommend people to you. So don't think, okay, I can't ask Alex who lives in the jungle somewhere. <laughs> you know, you can always ask them the question, who do you know that wants to be financially free? Recommend me people and you can work with those people. But guess what? What's gonna happen to Alex or whoever you picked first and ask them to recommend you people? What's gonna happen to them when they find out you're making people so much money and they're doing so well because they connected with you? They're gonna think, listen, I don't care if I'm in a place in the world where I can't get internet very well. I will go to the internet cafe and I will sit there for hours and do what I need to do because they will want a piece of the pie. So think about that. That's also a tactic I use, by the way. So if there's people that you think they know people and they could recommend you so many, but also you wanna to get to that particular person, Go around them, ask, ask, ask over them effectively and say to them, who do you know that is ambitious, talented, wants to become an entrepreneur, wants to be their own boss, wants to build a massive empire and build generational wealth for themselves and their family. Make it sound so juicy. They can't resist, but go, hello, I do, <laughs> me, I want that, you know, and then they'll start to work with you. So imagine that, you know, they're obviously people elsewhere will know people that you can connect to, but also use that kind of reverse psychology tactic just, just to dangle the bait and tease some people as well. It's quite fun to see how they scroll. <laughs> I'm bad enough. Okay, geography. Minus one minute. Guys, so. <laughs> what the hell are you? Amazing, guys. Those numbers were phenomenal for the last category. I can't wait to see what you come up with for this. And guys, you know, geography is incredible because think if you have leaders in different pockets of the globe, in different areas in the world, and they're building teams there or their leaders there and they're reaching out to so many people to build their own empires within your own empire, G by the way. How incredibly effective is that? Because you don't have to be there on the ground. You haven't bought the plane ticket. You haven't traveled for miles or for hours to get there yourself to build. They're doing G it for you. Uh, that's why you've got to think outside the box on this one. Highly effective geography and building global organization. So go for it, gun for it, like Ten, absolutely nine, make this your mission and your eight, goal. It's, it's seven, really highly effective. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Two. I love how she says zero. <laughs> it's quite funny. Anyway, yeah, guys. So how did we do in this category? It's not the most easy. Grant's got eight. Come on. I love that. Samantha's got 15. Absolutely incredible. Even if you've gone on holiday somewhere and you've met uh, met people and you've kept in touch with them, all relevant, absolutely amazing. Melody was seven, Winston with eight. Keep them coming, guys. See how you did. Judy with eight. What is it with eight? So many people have put eight in the chat for this one. It's a common number. Ursula with nine. Okay, any other numbers, guys? Keep putting putting them in the chat. Send them through. Or Rika with eight again. Eight. Uh, Razvan was six. Amazing, guys. These numbers are still phenomenal. They weren't as kick-ass as the last one, but it's a difficult topic, actually. A difficult um, category, I must say. So you've done extremely well. Because imagine if you just found two or three people around the globe somewhere, and they bought 10 each. That's like 20, 30 extra people that you can reach out to. And massive momentum, because if you're building global, there's no end to it. You know, other people know people globally as well. So absolutely amazing, guys. What's next? We got social media, another fire category, as I like to call it. Because social media, again, you can reach out to people over the other side of the planet, right? Maybe in Mars as well. 
<laughs> maybe in Pluto, <laughs> all over the place, even different planets and different, I don't even know, dimensions. But social media is incredible. If you're, you're not tapping into that, what are you doing? Shame on you. Because how many people do you have on your social media that you might not have in your phone right now, their numbers, their contact details? There's still your warm market. You're still connected. You can still reach out to them. You know, if you private message them or inbox them, you're definitely connected and warm already. However, the rest is just lukewarm. You've got to warm them up, right? So you've got to break the ice. You've got to strike a bit of rapport with them, start the conversation, break the ice, you know, um, and then you'll be connected and they'll be familiar with you. Once they're familiar, absolutely 100%, you can pop them on your contact list as people that you can reach out to for business. Because, you know, I'm going to share some tips and tricks with you um, here in this one minute. So listening while you're writing down. And I give you permission, open your WhatsApp, open your Telegram on your phone, open your Instagram, your Facebook, all of these logos on the screen, Twitter, does anyone still do Twitter? Twitter, everything, Vimeo, I don't know, Skype, is Skype on your phone? I don't know. But uh, <laughs> wherever they are, YouTube, all the rest of it, LinkedIn, um, you can go into those, go into those um, apps and just literally choose 11 people, the last 11 people that you interacted with, put their names down, doesn't matter, however, I urge you to think also of all of those people that you could reach. So let's not just look at the people that are in your phone right now, last 11 people you contacted. I know that some of you, some of you have literally hundreds, if not thousands of contacts on literally every platform that you're on, Instagram, Facebook, all of them. So guys, if you can, why don't you think outside of your comfort zone, outside of the box and think, okay, I have like, 10, I have like, what's the maximum on Facebook? It's like 5,000, isn't it? I maxed that out a while ago. 5,000 on Facebook, you know, however many hundreds of thousands on Instagram, so many on LinkedIn, all the rest of it. Think of all those people because you couldn't, I know that some of you right now, if I said to you, all right, how many names did you put on your contact list? You say 10, 10, 11. But then if I said to you, how much do you have the potential to reach out to? You'd put thousands in the chat box. So let's Five, let's look at the four, potential here, okay? Three, two, All right, one second left. <laughs> so let me see those incredible numbers, guys. Flood in in the chat, please. How many did you think you could come up with or how many do you think you have the potential to reach out to in all of the social media platforms you have going with all of the social media groups you've got going? Let me see. Only 11, that's funny. Only 15, Sophie. Only three, Graham. What? Look at Lars. He's just showing off now. 1,400 1, is what he has the potential to reach out to. Melody as well, 902. Guys, I'm coming over to your houses for dinner because you guys are going to be millionaires soon, okay? Uh, um, Ulrika, is that 500? Rebecca, 300. Judy, five. now we're just having fun now, aren't we? So what are you guys waiting for? These are people that you can reach out to, break the ice as soon as possible. Get, you know, talk about what they're interested in. Have a look on the people that you know are born networkers. Go to their profile, have a little look, see what they're interested in and talk about that topic first. Don't just bulldoze them with your opportunity because, you know, it would come across a bit spammy at the end of the day. But definitely start reaching out to these hundreds and thousands of people that you have sitting there waiting for you to bring this opportunity to them. You know, absolutely incredible. Look at that. You guys are literally like, where were your promotions? You should be getting promoted like tomorrow with all of this number of people on your social media. Tap into it. I, 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 you know, I beg you because you're sitting on money right there. So guys, local is the next topic, the next category. I love this one because people don't really think about this so often. However, it's really effective because if you go to those establishments where people will recognize you because you go there every other day, you know, I'm in my supermarket, like at least every three or four days. <laughs> so it's probably the same for you. You've got, you know, all these establishments around you, you go in there often, they'll recognize you by face. So it's easy to break the ice then because they, they see you as familiar in a way. So local, where do you go regularly enough that the workers there will recognize you? This can include your local supermarket takeaway, like me, don't go in there too often as I do. <laughs> um, local takeaway, um, your dry cleaners, your children's school or nursery, um, doctor surgery, petrol station, bank, train station even, maybe on your, Maybe you commute to work on the train every other day. The chances are other people will be doing the same as you. So you'll see some of the same familiar faces on there, I guarantee you. Um, tra uh, where was I? Train station, restaurants, bus stop, pub, now salon, barbers or hairdressers, places that you can have conversations with people because you're going to be in there for some time. Ideal places to peak. Um, so on, think about, like I said, on your commute to work, 
you know, you'll see the same people. We're creatures of habit, aren't we? I remember when I used to get the train to school every day, I'd always get on the same carriage. I'd sit in the same area of the carriage because I liked it. it was by the door. I could get out quickly and I'd be by the exit, you know? So we all think like that, don't we? And there's other people that obviously are going to be thinking the same as you. So they'll sit in the same carriage and get on the same part of the train. They'll sit in the same seat. So you'll see them regularly. So I urge you just to make eye contact, say hi, you know, break the ice, say, hello, how are you today? Introduce yourself, get a conversation going. Ask that magic question that I didn't say yet. I usually say that for the social media, but I love to um, ask a certain um, part in the conversation when it's relevant, what do you do for a living? Because the only natural human thing to do back when you're having that kind of conversation is to ask that person back, right? So you ask them, what do you do for a living? They answer you and then they'll ask you back. You can absolutely use this to talk about what you do, you know, talk about your business, talk about what you're doing, what, why you love it so much. I urge you as well, don't just go in and say, I'm this or that, or I provide this, provide this, this is what I'm doing. You know, actually make their mouths water. So highlight the benefits rather than declare you're one thing or another. So highlight, you know, you, you help people to become financially free. You're building a global organization. You're an entrepreneur. You're your own boss. You work from home. You work from your mobile phone. All of these things sound incredible to somebody that would love that, but doesn't know how to, how to go about achieving it. And so you, you to them will look like someone who's doing what they want to do. You know, they'll listen to you and they'll absolutely want to um, be a fly on the wall of what you're doing. And basically, you know, once you've broken the ice, once you've got um, exchanged contact details, you've got some, someone else you can add to your contact list and therefore, you know, invite to an to a event, the next exposure, whatever that might be in whatever form. And so local we obviously don't know their names maybe because we see them in the post office every other day but we don't engage right we just go in there we do what we're doing they recognize us and they've seen us before however we won't know their names and we won't have their contact details just yet but what you can do for this one minute coming up with that, that top that goal of 11 or more you can absolutely write a description that will remind you or jog your memory about them next time you go into that place of work for them so maybe they're blonde or brunette maybe they've got long hair short hair maybe they're handsome pretty maybe they always wear a red shirt maybe they always wear nike shoes whatever the case may be just write, write a one word description that will jog your memory next time you go into that place or into that establishment for your next loaf of bread or whatever it might be so here we go guys one minute and County. And this is super effective, guys, because imagine you are in, the, you are going into that place in person. So you can show them how excited, how much energy you've got, the great positive, positive vibe that you have, so that you, when you talk to them about the opportunity, they can see how passionate you are about it. And they, they wonder, okay, so there's something about that person. And that will really stick in their mind about you at the end of the day and they'll be more inclined to exchange contact details with you and find out what you've got going on and what you're doing and be more interested so definitely you know when you go into that next that post office um in a couple of days or that supermarket or whatever dry cleans whatever have you you know have the energy about you now people follow people with energy not necessarily money so think about that as well if you're just starting out in the business that you are and you don't necessarily have all the the moolah Four, to show for it three, and you're just starting two, out what one, you use is your positive zero. vibes and your energy because people follow people like that they like to be led and guided by people with that kind of attitude so it's quite effective if if you can just show your enthusiasm and your excitement with whatever you're doing wherever you're going so guys i don't see any numbers come in the chat box is this one difficult <laughs> was this one tricky okay 15 from razvan love it nine from melody uh nine from samantha Five from Winston. Okay. Ursula, um, Ulrika's got six, seven number of perfection from Graham again. We love it. Okay. Erica's 17. Ursula, we've got eight. These numbers are incredible, guys, because I mean, a lot of people don't even think about going there with the local establishments around locally where they live. But if you can think of people already without even going out yet, um, of who you're going to approach tomorrow or the day after whatever have you uh, Judy I see your 10 creeping in there double digits we love it you've, you've been on point this session well done absolutely incredible right if you can use your positive vibes and your energy just to attract people that's what that's an incredible um, level of networking if I don't say so myself so guys next category is education 
So this, if it's like me for you, it might be many moons ago. <laughs> I'm not sharing my age, but it was a while ago, trust me. So education, your peers from your school days, universities, student unions, societies, or any other form of education that you might have experienced, even short courses or trainings at work, maybe. And um, think of the ambitious and the competitive students you remember first or colleagues. But don't write anyone off because even the class clown back in the day or someone you hated at school might be more business minded years down the line. And it's great payback to those bullies, right? Get them in your business, get them earning you money <laughs> at the end of the day. Am I bad? I don't know. Um, but also don't write off your teachers because don't forget them, because in this industry, I, I've seen teachers absolutely just literally break through targets or break through goals and absolutely do incredibly well because they have the ability to learn fast and therefore also teach other people to rise up as leaders. So absolutely incredible. Moral of the story, get teachers in your business if you haven't done so already. So here we go with education, let's go, one minute. one minute. And you know, be bold, be, think outside the box here, think of your dinner ladies even, think of your head teachers if you're bold enough. You know, anybody that you can think of from school, the people you hung out with, the people that were in your clique, so to speak, like I said, even the bullies, get them in your business as well. <laughs> your teachers, the teachers seconds. you loved and the teachers you hated, all of them, get them in your business and reach out to them. <laughs> Halfway through, guys, you should have about five, six names on the list by now, but keep going. You've still got half a minute. Seconds. Absolutely plenty of time to write down um, more names that you can think of. Do we have any teachers in the room? You guys, I class your industry or your profession as one of those that are kind of overworked and underpaid. Like you really, you have your work cut out for you and it's stressful, I know. My sister's a head teacher and she brings her work home with her all the time. So I know what it's like. Um, yeah. Okay guys, how do we do? Let me see those numbers flooding into the chat. Education, what did you come up with? Let me see from Graham come on keep it coming amazing 20 from Razvan you stepped up Razvan I love that amazing double digits now come on Winston with 25 nice Melody 6 keep on coming guys Judy 16 10 from Samantha Samantha you are well away this evening as well well done keep on coming Rebecca with 10 amazing guys these are amazing numbers nine from Sophie keep on coming okay I'm gonna go ahead just because I'm mindful of time and we were all, we all want our dinner, don't we? I'm hungry too. <laughs> okay, groups. Groups is an amazing category as well. Make, some of you might not be part of many groups, but I encourage you to become part of groups because it's a, such an incredible place to peak, um, peak interest from people because you have, you've gone into that group because you have the same interests as many other people in that group, let's face it. And so easy to break the ice, easy to connect, easy to network, really easy. Doesn't matter if it's a physical group or an online group, they're all relevant. So even if you don't really like leaving your house and you wanna be a part of groups, just go on social media, Google what you are interested in or the topics that you like and add yourself to those groups. And you'll be in those groups with hundreds, sometimes thousands upon thousands of people that you can start to network with. So just think about that, think outside the box here where you can create traction and where you can network on another level. So this is everyone you know from your clubs, maybe parent, teacher association, mother and toddlers groups, societies, sports club, football club, gym club, church or religious establishment, et cetera. So put them all on your list, sorry, under the relevant section. Might be cross-referenced, but it doesn't matter. Put their name again. Now, don't cheat. They, they don't count as another person. You can't split one person into two. However, it will jog your memory to think of mutual contacts that you have along the way. So maybe your friends, maybe your friends go to your gym or your family goes to your church, whatever have you. Put the name down again. But like I said, it doesn't count as an additional person. It's not another number. But, you know, it will jog your memory to think of people inspired to think of others, quite frankly. So here we go, groups. If you're not part of groups already, join them. See how many groups you can join this week and absolutely just smash it, knock it out of the park. Here we go. Team one minute, minute and minute. counting. Even, yes, Adrian, I said even bullets <laughs> from the last category. Wilhelmina had 75, that's Team incredible. Amazing. All right, guys, keep the, num keep the numbers up and, um, Keep jogging your memory of um, groups that you can be part of. Think, how, think along the way. If you're not part of groups as well, write a little list by the side of your notebook of what your interests are and then make a, make a 
point of going on social media tomorrow or something or going into online, Googling these kind of interests that you have and see what groups you can join because it'll be really effective for you, I promise you. T minus 20 seconds. Right, 20 seconds left, guys. You've got plenty of time to write a few more names. Plenty of time. Horse community, Arika. I like that. So you're, you're a horse rider. That's amazing. Zero. Zero. How do we do, guys? Get those numbers in the chat box. Let me see. Do me proud. Do mama proud, please. <laughs> okay, Graham was one. Okay, Graham. That's all right. One is more than you came with before this session, right? So it's absolutely, I'm still proud of you. That's amazing. Like I said, don't feel, um, you know, don't feel bad if you come up with just a couple um, of um, people on your list. This is, this one is tough. What was that? This one is tough. No groups here. I need to join some groups. Absolutely, 100%. You've just hit the nail on the head with the hammer. Join more groups. <laughs> okay, Melody with 10 different groups. Amazing. Okay, Eureka. All the pony parents. Yeah, get them in your business. <laughs> get them in there. Okay, Graham, true. And thanks. Winston with 12. Absolutely incredible. We've still got people coming in the room, guys. Okay, 10 from Judy. Double digits, guys. This is amazing. And 11 was the goal. So most of you have reached that goal or, or close enough. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, you've come up with more in different categories. So it will all, you know, kind of balance out, which is great. And you can come and, you know, list these categories. So you can come back to them later, sit down with your cup of tea and, um, you know, absolutely add more names at the end of the day. So here we go. Uh, Eric, Erica, I saw your 10 and Sophie, I saw your five. So here we go. Same. Last category, but by no means the least. Oh, I'm sad. Okay. So same. This simply means do frog legs with everybody on your contact list so far. So it's almost like a, a version of tap rooting people in this industry, what we call tap rooting, where you go around to somebody else's network and you absolutely tap into their network as well. So without even picking up the phone, we're just going to list the names of the people that we know already personally, we've been introduced by family or friends or whatever have you. And we can absolutely write down a good bunch of people. So this simply means write down all the relatives of the friends you know, the friends of the relatives you know, the colleagues of your relatives that you might know, the relatives and friends of the people that you know in your groups, and the same with your geography list. So if you know someone elsewhere, do you know their friends or their relatives, etc. They go, they go on the list. Guaranteed, your brother or your sister might have brought friends home before, or they might have brought their university, you know, um, peers. To, to the house to study or they might have invited you to um you know to a work event or something like that where you've met their contacts you've met their network Re regardless of whether you've realized what you were doing or not you will know those people and they will know you so you can write their names down as well now this category don't get it don't Minus underestimate it because you can literally double triple quadruple um your contact list alone by just this category by following um, what i've pointed out to you so incredibly effective seconds incredibly effective it's not as easy as like you know thinking of that person you know in the, in the um you know working on the high street across the road or your friends or your family for instance however like I said it can be really effective and you know before you know it you've got a, a whole bunch more people that you've got to reach out to that you weren't thinking about before so it's just a way of jogging your memory for that Amazing guys, you've got just over 20 seconds left. Let's go, let's go. Loving the session so far. I really hope you're enjoying it as well. You guys are on fire. I love that. <laughs> okay, 10 seconds left, guys. Let's go. Nine, eight, Don't run seven, off after this category because I've got some more five, um, useful four, tips and tricks for three, you before you leave. Two. Zero. okay how do we do who's the first one winston <laughs> winston with 10 love it okay keep the numbers coming in guys keep them coming five from resvan keep going seven from sophie amazing number of perfection erica with three don't put a smiley face there don't laugh at yourself that's three more than than you had before this session so it's amazing judy with 11 right on the money 11 was the goal excuse me, and Ursula with six. Amazing, guys. So what do we do next? Now we've got these incredible contact lists going. Oh, no, we don't stop there. Absolutely not. What do we do with them? So, um, you know, what I do with my team members, particularly the new ones, um, you know, even if they're not new, even I still follow this process by myself as well, you know, because it's highly effective if there are people that you know very well and stuff like that, you know, you don't have to pick up the phone. You can actually just send three text messages for people coming into the industry brand new, think about that, your new team members, 
brand new, they're going to be a bit scared to approach people and talk about the opportunity. Maybe they can't even at the point that they come in, they need to learn a few of the you know, ways to exp express it, express themselves and explain the opportunity. And they've got to learn the presentation. That's that doesn't happen overnight. So what I do with my team members, particularly the new ones, like I mentioned, is we send three text messages. Simple. There's just two rules to this. So they always personalize the first message. That's the first rule because you don't want it to sound like a copy and paste or broadcast this. You want it to sound like you meant to reach out to that particular person, make them to sound like a little bit special, right? And then the second rule is wait for the responses in between because you want it to be communicative. You want it to be a conversation. If you're just barking all your responses at them, one, bam, 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 one after the other, they know what you're trying to do. They know what, what it is, you know, they're not going to feel like it's a conversation or like you want to engage with them. So let's make it like text etiquette, like I like to call it. So what next? I'm, I've got the three messages for you. So feel free to take screenshots, you know, or write down a brief um, kind of um, a brief sentence of what they are. So the first one, hello, not dot, dot, dot. I just said personalize it, put the name in that space. How are you? I'm sorry I didn't get in touch sooner. Hope you're keeping well and safe or safe and well, however many round you want to put it. So this is the ideal message for somebody you've lost touch with for a while. Sorry I didn't get in touch sooner. Hope you're keeping well and safe. Also, we just come through a pandemic, let's face it. So it's very relevant right now. Very caring message to send to somebody. However, <laughs> even if you saw you saw a friend that you were hanging out with yesterday still send them the message like this because they're going to be thinking in the back of their mind what is wrong with Judy or what's wrong with you know Tammy how are you what are you talking about I saw you yesterday but the thing is it, it will prompt them to get in touch with you with some urgency because they're going to be thinking what's going on here I saw you yesterday so a bit of reverse psychology there as well to create that urgency and get them in touch with you sooner rather than later message number two I've been thinking of you because I started a project that I believe may be of interest to you. I've been thinking of you, very caring, considerate, isn't it? And um, because I started a new project and our project is a much friendlier word than business. So change that whole idea of, of, of you approaching them with a the business to project much better. You get a better response that way. Um, that I believe may be of interest to you. Go in there confident that I, that I know will interest you, you know, because you know them so well. Would it be okay to run it by you? Again, a bit of reserve psychology there. If they say yes, they, you, you li they literally have to listen to you after they've said yes, right? So it's a bit of reverse psychology. I'd really appreciate your view or feedback is another word you can put there. So this is the ideal uh, message to send to someone who's senior in business to you, maybe a little bit older than you, maybe a bit scarier to approach. They've got experience and you feel like maybe you don't live up to that for them to have any idea of listening to you. I'd really appreciate your view and feedback is really good. And wording to use because it all it makes them sound like you care what they think right even though you may not <laughs> but it makes it sound like you really want their feedback their view on it because it's going to help you to make a decision even though you've been in the business for a while right but they don't know that so that's the whole idea message number three I'm quite new to it and would not do a good job explaining. Even I still use this sentence when I know it's somebody that's close to me that wouldn't see me as that credible business person. I would not do a good job explaining, but would it be okay if I introduce you to my mentor, put your mentor's name there and edify them like crazy, make this person that you're talking to sound like they're going to be missing out, like if they don't meet your mentor right now, tomorrow, whenever the case is, as they will as they will explain it a lot better and have a lot more experience than I do. So it, it's, it's like you saying to them, let me not do a shabby job here. I want you to put you in the best possible hands so they get the best information and can make that informed decision. Who wouldn't appreciate that? I have to ask you. If they don't appreciate it, they might not be your friend anymore. I might have to come and talk to you about who your friends are. <laughs> but usually people will appreciate you saying you, you want to put them in the best capable hands, the most experienced hands to explain the information. So they shouldn't have a problem with it. Now, just a couple of bonus slides before we wrap up. I'm sorry, we're gonna wrap up soon, fun's over. <laughs> but this slide, take a picture of it, words to avoid when building your business. Don't just take my word for it, experiment with it as well. You know, it's my experience, but also other tycoons in the industry that have had the same results. Um, so these words, there's not, nothing particularly negative or bad about them. However, someone in a land far, far away, once upon a time, you know, and, and another, crazy land or something <laughs> they they met somebody who had an experience with a presentation online or had an experience with multiple streams of income or or an experience with an opportunity or multi-level marketing whatever have you network marketing um, and they've put every experience down to, to, down to these words 
reminds them, jogs them, jogs their brain of that person that had a bad experience and they think that they're going to have the same. It's silly because if someone jumped off a cliff, we wouldn't, right? But for some reason in business, people do that. They think, okay, that person's had that experience. It's going to be my own, which is not the case, as we know. Drives me nuts. I'm sure it drives you nuts too. So better words to use, take another screenshot, replace those other words with these ones and you'll get much better um, responses, I promise you, you'll get much better results. So just want to draw your attention as well to top left corner, the mustard wording, if I would you. Now, who knows Eric Worry GoPro is like one of my heroes. He's absolutely incredible. I'm going to pop it in the chat for you guys. If you don't know, you better get to know who he is. Look him up on um, YouTube. He's got tons of videos and resources there and he's um, resource that I absolutely love is called GoPro. There we go. Oh, GoPro. <laughs> you know what I mean. GoPro. There we go. <laughs> That's what I meant. Oh, no. And I left the space out. Never mind. I'm washing. But you know what I mean. GoPro. So have a look at that. Have that look. Have a look up at the resource. There's an audio book as well, audio that you can listen to. Or there's, um, you know, on YouTube, you've got the audio there as well for free, I think. So absolutely tap in it into these, um, into that legend, Mr. Eric Worry, and you will learn so much. So if I would you goes a little bit like this. I'm going to start rapping now. Are you ready? <laughs> if I would you. If I invited you to an event online on Friday at 7 p.m., would you attend? If I sent you a video, would you watch it and give me your feedback? When can you give me your feedback? From a meeting, book a meeting, fam, bam, F-A-M-B-A-M, F-A-M, I'm putting it in the chat, B-A-M. Okay, I haven't got time to spell it out, but from a meeting, book a meeting to jog your memory, fam, bam. Okay, so um, if you tell them, okay, what's the video? And you say to them, when can you get back to me? That's from a meeting, from a conversation, you're booking a meeting, right? And also, if I would do, you know, if I got you on a three-way call with my mentor or my guide in this business, who's doing phenomenally well, again, edification, they've got multiple streams of income, multiple, multiple, multiple figures they're earning every month or whatever you want to say, most servant-hearted leader that I know, would you come onto the three-way call and ask as many questions as you want and he'll share his insight and his knowledge so that you can get an idea of what you can achieve here. You know, all of these things are um, music to people's ears. You know how to word them right. If I would you, play around with it. I've had incredible results just from using that one sentence and you will too. So guys, Thank you, thank you so much. Don't stop there. Keep adding to your contact list. It should never stop growing. You know, I like to think if I was dropped with a parachute out of an airplane anywhere on the globe, I could build a team because, you know, I'm confident, whatever. We will, we all can be confident when we want. But from the things I've learned in this industry and the way that I approach people, I like to think I could build an empire anywhere that I'm literally just thrown. <laughs> so you should think the same. And guys, just thank you so much for taking part in this training. I really appreciate you, you know, and I really pray and hope it's been of help and value to you. And you've caught some nuggets along the way and you've enjoyed the session please by all means come back i'm here every sunday 7 p.m oops <laughs> 7 p.m uk time so work that out in whatever time zone you are and definitely come back yourselves get more progress because you think of more names every, all the time every time you come back but also your team members get them in the room because if you came up with 50 100 names today and you had 10 team members in the room who came up with 100 each. That's an extra thousand people you'd have to reach out with and start promoting your business and building big. Get appointments in your diary. If your diary is empty, shame on you. Your diary should be full of appointments to present the opportunity that you, that you are offering to other people at the end of the day. Well, guys, I can see the chat box blowing up. What's going on here? <laughs> okay, thank yous all round. You're welcome, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for attending. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you got value. And definitely come back with your team members because if you've got value, they will too. And you can start to build even bigger than you're building right now. Absolutely incredible. So guys, I bid you farewell. God bless you, whatever you're going to do with your evening right now. Have a blast, have a ball, have some good dinner, get some good rest. Tomorrow's another day. We love Mondays, right? People that work don't love Mondays, but we love Mondays because it, it's a chance for us to build and build more momentum at the end of the day. So let's make that our goals this week and use what I've taught you. Don't go away. And think, you know, that's it, end of training, because the, that, that's the worst thing you too can do. The worst, most effective thing you can do is put what I've taught you into practice and build your biggest empires yet. So I look forward to hearing from some, some of you. I'm on social media all over the place. You know, drop me a, a chat or whatever. Or hello, how are you? And um, love, to, love to hear your feedback so far. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great evening. God bless you. Love you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>